it's the saturday wrap again the saturday wrap for saturday the 13th of may 2023 this is the thing nowadays done on the friday before so i can spend the day in the pub doing pubby things mainly listening to podcasts to be perfectly honest and um reviewing beers anyway um you may or may not have seen this before this is me looking back on the past week the ups the downs the beers the events the tech and the weather there's always the weather anyway start off with the regulars the word or phrase of the week yeah okay so coronation no king charles king charles the third um I don't know it doesn't run off the tongue it really doesn't and um to be perfectly honest with that big crown on and those scepters and such like he looked a bit of a numpty i'm sorry i don't mean this to be personal but it just didn't look right it looked like a thing out of time if you want a thing that looked in time penny mordant with a uh, piping and her big sword that was quite funny anyway i'll come back to the uh, coronation in a little while king charles the third though well, there you go uh, app of the week actually two apps of the week final cut pro and logic pro now both for the ipad a lot of people have been complaining about this i saw on mark ellis reviews that he was oh where is it i need it i'm going with da vinci resolve and then it appears the big thing for me is that they're both only available on subscription while you can buy final cut pro for 300 dollars, 300 pounds price equals across the atlantic on the mac okay your mac license doesn't cover your ipad um you have to pay four pounds 99 or 50 pounds a year so if you rent it well, subscriptions are renting um that's six years worth which i don't think is bad however subscription fatigue all these subscriptions add up and add up and add up although you can subscribe for a month then cancel it and then come back i suppose that could work i'm not a pro and luma fusion does fine for me although i'm thinking maybe when i get a mac desktop would i want to should i i mean it pounds a lot of money um but the people who have bought it and haven't paid a penny since so maybe anyway the thing of the week breweries breweries going into administration breweries stopping brewing breweries just struggling i'll come back to that because one of them's a favorite brewery of mine actually let's go straight into it on saturday um i think i was reading Bolcom bailey now only on mastodon they've uh, abandoned twitter a lot of people have abandoned twitter uh, maybe a new ceo announced today a lady anyway brew by numbers i like brew by numbers um the first number is the style the second number is the actual brew name they they they've done some really 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 good beers um and they are struggling and they're another one of these people who are underneath the arches and the arches have been sold up and the uh, it started off that they were going into administration now they're doing a partisan moving seeing if they can go to somewhere else i do hope they stick around because they are they're an important brewery for me and they brew fine ales and today uh dawkins brewery from bristol gotta be honest never tried their beers they have some pubs as well the pubs are staying only open but they're not brewing anymore um yeah and there are a lot of breweries ha having this problem on better notes there's a lol fest bragdy took lol the little laughs brewery in tree forest are having one it's in the middle of june it's a friday and a saturday opens at 12 o'clock in the day um 
Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose I could book the Friday, but uh, I have leave all the way around it, so possibly not. So it'll be the Saturday for me. Always enjoy a lol fest. Really, really good. Anyway, moving on to the Saturday. Um, it was raining. And uh, I started off in the, as I do when I go to Newport, in the John Wallace Linton. And they had it on there. I remember thinking there was Hugh Edwards talking to, I think, the Archbishop of Canterbury, who today got done for speeding. Um, I couldn't hear it, and it wasn't subtitled, but I thought, excellent camera work, excellent switching, really good lighting, um, highly professional, the whole thing. Um, didn't actually... Um, didn't actually see any more of it than really that. Um, when I moved on to the pen and wig, they had the football and the cricket on. <coughs> I don't know where the cricket was from, but there was cricket on there. Um, and then the little tap house. Um, we were discussing the Belgian beers and how you can now scan beer barcodes in untapped. And then some chips from the Harbour Fish Bar, uh, where we discussed the trains. And then um, Tiny Rebel which, to be perfectly honest, wasn't very busy. In fact, Newport at all wasn't very busy. Uh, weather was a bit rubbish as well. Anyway, uh, that was Saturday. Sunday, early on, May's Android security updates. They had a pain to install, they really are. Because like, if you let your phone go to sleep, then you have to start, you know what it's like. And then they has to optimize and whatever. In the afternoon, planted some lettuce leaves in the garden. They're out there at the moment. It's nice and warm today. Um, a little bit humid, maybe. Um, I've just been earthing up and watering. Potatoes are coming along a treat. Uh, I hate her thing up though. <laughs> it's no fun. Monday. Monday was an emergency bank holiday. Monday off to Newport. In fact, the bus, the Sunday service, exactly on time. Slightly different route. I can't remember it going through Lower Macken before, but it did. And it didn't go around the other estate, which is good. And the one coming back was on time as well. It was all very nice. But it confuses me because Sunday service on a Monday and all that sort of nonsense and whatever. Also, three Twitter questions. One to untap. Why have my social me um, uh, media accounts gone missing? Uh, all apart from Swarm Foursquare. Um, haven't had a reply from that. Also pinged them an email. Haven't had a reply to that one either. I sent up a screenshot. Um, secondly, um, Costa Coffee, can you add a, a Costa gift card to your app? Quite quickly back, no. <laughs> the last one, uh, Premier Inn. If you're going to a Premier Inn and you arrive early enough, as I do, can you book a breakfast on the day of arrival? Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I think the person I was speaking to uh, first language wasn't English because they didn't really understand what I was asking. And then the name changed and they came back and said, sorry, no. That's really disappointing. Their full English, which I'm now back into because, you know, toast and stuff like that, really starts the day well. What a shame. I believe you can walk up to them and say, can I book in, but they'll charge you extra. And I'd really like to do it in advance as a part of the whole thing. But uh, there you go. No. Uh, in the afternoon in Newport, um, the Harbour Fish Bar knew it was closed. The one down by the bus station was supposed to be open, but it wasn't. It turned out it later on was. So I had a boneless chicken wings in Tiny Rebel. Bonus chicken wings are really good. I should have had 12. I had six. But and barbecue sauce as well with a touch of jam. Is that a thing? I'm not sure. Anyway, Tuesday, the uh, pro apps for the iPad were announced, which leads me to think, why would they announce at WWDC? Is WD, and I can't even say it, Worldwide Developers Conference, is that going to be so jam-packed with things that they couldn't fit this in? I do hope so. Uh, talking of developers' dues, Google I.O. on Wednesday. I watched it with Leo Laporte and Jeff Jarvis doing the covering. Um, they were right. It was like 
they had a mature company and they're a bit desperate and every part of the organization brought out their ai offering ai heavy um and some of them were good and some of them were bad and some of them overlapped but uh disorganized and they left the best for last the 7a the tablet uh and the foldable screen thing with a free watch well there you go oh and i signed up on thursday morning for the ai test kitchen i want that thing that'll write an email for you or just write something for you um that sounds really good really 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 good and today uh dawkins brewery which i read i think swipe left uh on the 6a and you get the news and there it was from bristol live uh you know oh um i'm gonna pop out the back garden got some bacon last week didn't eat it because of the weather um get the trangier out have a bacon sarnie seems like the way forward anyway thank you for watching comments as per normal there are subtitles because i do a transcript now powered by ai